I want to share with you in this video a little snapshot of my journey as an artist. Again, how I sort of uh, progressed from, you know, someone who I feel like uh, was struggling with all of those questions and um, issues that I talked about in the last video um, up until kind of, you know, now where I, you know, I, I feel like I have some of those things under control or at least I know kind of if I'm struggling with a particular area like that. I, I know kind of how to improve my skill set, right? I, I have sort of uh, tools that help me figure out, you know, you know, how to get that knowledge. So, you know, as part of this, I'm going to, you know, share again, the challenges I faced and, um, you know, the, the main ones I think that are really kind of held me up. And, um, you know, if they're things that potentially resonate with you, I'll give you, um, you know, again, my sort of tips essentially to combat that. So anyway, let's get started. I really, again, started with, um, you know, dealing with all of those issues, right? That, that issue is sort of detail, right? I was really struggling to get detail happening when I was um, starting out. And um, I didn't have a, a reliable sort of process or way of making images. So um, I, you know, I, I was, a, you know, a, a professional, you know, I was getting sort of some work, but I was, um, you know, I certainly was struggling to get, um, you know, the sort of the higher quality sort of work that I wanted. And, um, you know, I would sort of get that sort of classic, uh, that classic feedback comment that, uh, you know, again, I still remember it because it's so sort of, um, it's so sort of emblematic of that thing where, again, you know, some, I'd sort of post a, some, some work up on the internet and people would be like, oh, wow, that's cool. Um, can't wait till you finish it. And I'd be like, uh, I finished it, you know, like that's it. That's a, that's all I need to do. Uh, that's all I know how to do. Right. Um, and I was always struggling with that, you know, and a, a big part of that was, you know, I feel like my, my art sort of inspirations were often the sketchier artists, you know, I mean, one of my favorite, uh, like manga is, uh, you know, Blade of the Immortal by, uh, Hirokai Sumura. And, you know, he's like a really sort of sketchy artist. And, and I was a huge fan of sort of Frank Frazetta and, um, you know, like all these artists who kind of had this sketchy style. And again, like the, my, my sort of question was like, why is their sketchiness better than my sketchiness, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, that, that was a huge challenge, right? So I was struggling with that a lot and, um, you know, I would just get very sort of, uh, unreliable results, right? So, you know, it, sometimes things would work and sometimes they wouldn't. Right. And, and, and I kind of felt like at that point, um, I was like, look, you know, I, I don't need to give up, right. I don't need to like, uh, you know, have a plan B. I never really had a plan B. I was just kind of, uh, you know, sort of blindly persistent with it. But, um, you know, I, I, I was like, well, yeah, there's, there's, you know, like, I feel like I'm getting some good response, but, uh, you know, at the same time, I, I didn't feel like I was professional. I didn't feel like I really knew what I was doing. And, and, and I would sort of, um, have a lot of stress associated with the creative process, right? It's quite stressful and I kind of like doing it, but also I, I, again, I had some negative relationship to it. Um, so, you know, you can kind of see, uh, again, you know, there, there was sort of, uh, I, I feel like I was often making things kind of work by being a little bit sketchier. And I think artists kind of like that, but typically, um, in a commercial environment, you know, we, we need a higher level of polish or at least, you know, you, you will often get asked to do that. Right. So, you know, I'd always get asked like, you know, oh, that's sort of great, you know, but the art direction comment was like, yeah, but can you do another pass on it? Right. Can, can you make this look um, better. Right. And, and I just didn't know how, you know, um, and, and so I would sort of vacillate. Right. So, um, uh, you know, and, and as, as I sort of progressed, right, I, I feel like I did get a little bit better at that. So these are sort of in that 2003, 2004 range, um, where I was very, very early on sort of trying to be a freelancer. Again, these are sort of just personal things I was doing again, working on my folio, uh, and, um, you know, uh, that, again, I, I feel like that sort of did get a, a, a little bit better, but I was still struggling with, you know, many of these issues, right? I was sort of figuring out um, sort of, you know, some different stylistic approaches, again, trying to kind of, you know, perfect my sort of uh, sketchy style, right? 
And um, again, I felt like it would sort of, you, you know, I'd be able to sort of get it to, to sort of look good, but then it really relied on me, you know, sort of leaving stuff in a, in sort of a slightly unfinished state. And I feel like, again, a lot of people were sort of expecting that I knew how to finish it. And I just didn't, you know, um, I just kind of was like, yep, but that, you know, it, and, and, and again, like the more I kind of, um, you know, tried to smooth out the brush strokes or sort of get rid of that again, you know, the sort of energy that I would have in the brush strokes and, and in the looseness, you know, this sort of thing, you know, people will, would sort of view that as like, oh, that's a cool sketch, but I really didn't know how to do anything more. Right. Um, and every, every time I kind of sent like, oh yeah, okay, I'll clean this up. It, it just kind of looked mushy and terrible and it lacked energy, you know? So I was very much one of those people where, you know, the, the sketches were looking good and um, everything else was kind of like not as good, right? So um, again, I was a little bit lost there and, and I was sort of still working, um, you, you know, at that. But I feel like, you know, what really happened to me that sort of made me turn that corner was, um, you know, that I sort of got a job drawing comics, right? So I sort of managed to, um, you know, I, I sort of, you know, got that happening. And, and that was like, again, just one of these sort of blind luck sort of things that that happened. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like that was the, really the thing that sort of propelled me on from that sort of in that sort of, you know, on from sort of 2005 onwards and allowed me to um, learn how to draw better and start to solve some, some of these problems. But it was basically like, I just got placed in this crucible, right? Um, and again, if you sort of you know, understand the metaphor or the reality of the crucible, the crucible is the thing where you, you basically like burn down all the, 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 the impure, you, you dump a bunch of rocks in there, right. And it burns out all the impurities and gives you like, you know, um, the, the good stuff. Right. But, uh, it, it's not fun. Right. I basically got, um, yeah, I, I, I got forced to learn how to draw, right? Because I, I'd sort of agreed to, to do this big sort of project. And I feel like that was, again, the best thing that happened for me. But again, I was getting better, but I was still, it was still very stressful for me, right? Um, at, at, at that point. Um, and, and I was sort of having, you know, sort of some luck sort of creating these larger scenes. But, uh, you know, the backgrounds were, were quite a challenge for me. You know, I was sort of good at doing sort of faces and characters and stuff. But you know, the, the, the challenge of comics is, you know, you got to draw characters and faces at different sizes and, um, you know, and, and then everything's got to have a background in, in a French comic. Right. Um, and, and I feel like, again, I was sort of getting to the point where I could kind of put those together. I'd learned a bit of sort of perspective. Um, and I'd sort of done a little bit of sort of foundational stuff. Um, but really I was, again, I was sort of mostly just focusing on like style and, you know, like just getting sort of pushed into um, getting good at drawing by practicing, right? I just sort of had to draw all day, every day, because I was drawing comics. Um, but again, I was still not getting my work to like that really high professional level, which is not to say that I wasn't, you know, getting some jobs that was sort of, you know, making me sort of do that. I mean, I think this is like a really good example of that where, um, and I think this was, uh, this was actually sort of uh, published. It was a, it was a marketing illustration to advertise a, um, a trading card game. Um, and, uh, you know, it was like a, you know, a, a real significant thing. Uh, but again, I, I, I got like multiple requests to again, add more detail and the, the poor art director sort of people we were working with, you know what I mean? Um, I, I think again, they were probably just thinking like, uh, you know, what, what's wrong? Like, why, why is, you know, what, what's going on here? Um, and I was still struggling with that, right? So I, again, you know, I was able to sort of manage a, a few of these things and, and I, my process was kind of developed to the point where, you know, I, I could sort of figure out how to create a complicated illustration like this. And I was sort of learning like, you know, how to sort of make it look like in a particular way. But, um, you know, really at the end of the day, I, I was sort of struggling, right? And doing these things were, were, were it was quite a challenge, right? Um, on, on every level. And, um, you know, that's, that's just, you know, a big part of kind of, you know, what was happening, happening then. Um, but, you know, it, it was happening and things were sort of progressing, but you can see that again, I was sort of vacillating between different sort of styles, um, and still trying to sort of find my way. And I think again, at this, at this point, um, if I sort of look back at the process there, um, I didn't have like a really sort of professional process either. Right. So I was sort of handing up sketches that were probably too rough, um, 
I think that was probably um, like hurting me from, again, getting like more work, right? So, you know, they'd kind of be like, oh, that was kind of okay. But we had to, you know, we had to ask multiple times for, you know, more revisions, you know, to make it look better. Um, and I would kind of, again, do the thing that I feel like a lot of artists sort of fall into in that instance where, you know, someone asks for a detail pass and I would just kind of be like, oh, I don't really know what to do. But maybe if I had a shine to everything, you know, if I had specular highlights to everything, if I just sort of make stuff brighter and keep pressing the, the contrast button in Photoshop, you know, hopefully the, the art director will go away and stop telling me to, uh, you know, that it needs more. Um, you know, but, but I didn't really have a strong understanding of like, you know, how to solve the problems that were coming at me in a professional environment, right? Which, which again, probably, you know, um, through word of mouth and that sort of stuff was, was not really helping my course, right? Um, so, you know, um, again, you know, which is to say probably if I did a really good job of that, you know, I might've gotten a few more jobs, right? Um, whereas, you know, I, I was probably on the other end of that. Um, yeah, you know, and, and I, I do feel like, uh, you know, at, at some point I started to sort of start to solve some of these problems. Um, and I sort of had a few solutions, but again, I, I feel like, um, even though I was sort of creating the illustrations that, that again, I felt like had, um, you know, they had backgrounds, they had multiple elements and I was really starting to figure out how to put that together. My sort of default way of dealing with the idea of, um, sort of, you know, people requesting more detail or sort of, you know, wanting more stuff was to kind of just like put stuff everywhere, right? So I'd be like, well, maybe if I just put like grass brushes everywhere and, you know, have like just leaf brushes and just put a whole bunch of stuff there, um, maybe people will like stop bugging me and telling me that my stuff doesn't look finished, right? Which uh, again, I don't think is, is the best sort of way to go about it, right? Um, the other thing that was sort of happening here is again, I was sort of playing with the idea of sort of, uh, you know, having painted backgrounds with sort of, you know, a more sort of, you know, comic book style character over the top. And again, just sort of vacillating with style a lot, right? Like not really sure of, um, you know, who I was. And, um, you know, again, a lot of my stuff, even though most other people would kind of, you know, say, oh, that all looks the same, man. Like, uh, to me, it was kind of, I was really sort of struggling with that. And, and again, um, you know, I'd find some things that would work, but uh, I would feel like often they would take me too long, right? So I'd be working in comic books and, you know, I, I'd sort of get a style that kind of I liked, you know, from a sort of a process and a patience level. But again, the, the, the sort of publisher would be like, no, no, it needs more detail, you know, and so I'd sort of freak out and then, you know, end up doing this kind of stuff, right? So I, again, I was I was very limited in my ability to solve problems, right? And I think that's often one of the things that happens, right? We, we sort of get like, uh, you know, we get sort of trained to solve problems in a particular way, and I kind of knew how to like, you know, again, hit the problem with the, you know, add more leaves and grass brush sort of um, solution. And, and I had, a, uh, you know, more tricks than that, right? But it, it really felt like I was sort of in the trick level, right? I, I would look at other sort of stuff and I'd be like, uh, you know, I don't really know what they're doing um, that's sort of different to me. Um, yeah, and, and, and I feel like, uh, you know, like, again, um, it, it sort of did progress. And, and, I, and I figured out, you know, um, the, some of the main stuff, right, you know, my, my drawing got better, do you know what I mean? You know, obviously, um, you know, for, from this point forward as well. But I feel like it was sort of in that sort of like a little bit later when, again, through doing a lot of comics and, and really pushing my ability to draw small and work the thumbnails and, you know, really understanding that that was an important part. Um, I feel like I was able to get sort of my, um, my professional sort of process to a point where, you know, I was able to hand up the thumbnails and then execute on the thumbnail, which was a big challenge, right? I feel like that was a huge challenge for me in the beginning. I'd be able to do the sketchy thumbnail, right? Uh, but then it was like, I don't really know how to make that into a finished painting, you know? And, and when I did it personally, I'd often change things or modify things. And I would just be very intuitive in the way I did it, which again is like the bad type of intuitive from a professional standpoint, right? So it worked for personal work, but again, I was having trouble getting that same quality and feeling in my professional work. And, um, you can see here again that, uh, you know, it, it's still at this point, I was, uh, again, I was sort of trying to paint stuff because that was either the style that was required, um, you know, by, from the client, um, or just because I felt like that's kind of what I needed to do. Um, although these days, right, I, I've sort of moved a little bit away from that and more towards, again, using a more 
typical sort of line and color style. But again, you know, by, by the time sort of 2011 sort of rolled around and I was sort of, you know, finishing the, you know, the cover for my sort of book, you know, I, I really, at that point, that's when I sort of, you know, was able to say, okay, like, here's the cover, let's mock it up, you know, this is what it's going to look like, right? And then to kind of, again, create something that sort of looked pretty much exactly like that, just sort of, you know, more detailed and obviously in color and stuff like that. So, Again, it was it was a long journey going from sort of, uh, you know, and, and really it was kind of, you know, probably like a good solid 10 years of me, you know, trying that um, through um, sheer force of will, right, and just having to draw a lot through through comics and, um, you know, failing a lot, um, which again, I, I feel like is the experience of, of a lot of people, right, and that's a perfectly sort of fine way to do it, Um but I feel like, again, it wasn't until probably even sort of later on that I started to figure out, again, how to solve some of these problems and how to get that flexibility. And um, uh, again, I, I feel like, you know, how to sort of stay a little bit more true to my style. So, you know, I, I feel like uh, the, 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 the top three things that I feel like I was really sort of doing um, that, that really kind of stopped me getting better faster Right. So again, the goal is, you know, hopefully you can get better quicker than that. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, again, the the proliferation of um, art, educational um, stuff on the Internet means that people can get a lot better quicker than, than sort of I did. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, but the things I felt like I was really sort of, again, not not getting right um, in retrospect uh, the first is that I was kind of jumping styles, right? And and I and I didn't really know who I was, and I didn't really have confidence in who I was or what I sort of wanted to do, right? If you see uh, a lot of the other sort of work that's a little bit more sort of recent that I've done, you can see, you know, I, I really have sort of actually returned to a lot of the sort of stylistic uh, bents that I, 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 you know, that the, the sort of styles and feeling that, that I was actually working on, you know, sort of 20 years ago, right? Um, and a lot of the techniques and processes that I actually employ are just sort of more advanced versions of the really simple, like, you know, do a line drawing and then put color underneath it, you know, and I'd always sort of look back at that and I'd be trying to paint stuff because I felt like I sort of needed to, you know, that someone was expecting me to do that. Um, but yeah, I kind of look back and I'd be like, actually, this other stuff I was doing sort of looked better, you know. And what I've sort of realized is, you know, um, certainly, you know, I, I do, um, you know, I do sort of, you know, um, you know, paint illustrations and stuff like that for, for sort of, you know, um, capital W work. Um, but to really the thing that I'm interested in and, and the thing that people tend to respond the best to from me, I feel like is the stuff that is, you know, sort of line and color style, right? That's kind of what I've, um, I've done. And again, it took me a long time to realize that and to sort of focus on, um, Instead of sort of saying, hey, all of my sort of concept art, um, you know, um, artists that I really aspire to and, and, I, and, you know, are getting lots of really awesome jobs and stuff, they all sort of paint, right, because that's how they're sort of trained. And I kind of have this comic book thing and that's not the same. So I just need to learn to paint. And I was kind of doing that and I was just pouring heaps of energy into that and not really thinking about the other stuff, right? So spending huge amounts of time sort of learning different techniques like that. Um, and I think, uh, again, when I sort of had more success is when I just sort of say, I, I just really dedicated to myself to saying, well, this is the style that I sort of have. And this is the kind of stuff I've always actually wanted to do. Um, and this is sort of what I seem to be good at. Let's just try and do that faster. Um, cause I can draw pretty fast cause I've been drawing comics for so long and just kind of see if I can sort of draw, um, as fast as the concept artist, you know, and that's kind of what I did. I really just worked on that skill, right? Worked on my strengths as opposed to my weaknesses for a while. And I felt like that, you know, helped me, you know, immensely, right? Um, and I think there's a lot of that sort of happening, right? Is is me just not necessarily sort of knowing who I was and, and, and trying to sort of, you know, have these different styles and blend this kind of painterliness and and sort of line art stuff. And again, with, with all of these things, you know, that there's no sort of right or wrong to it, right? You know, I, I don't regret any of this stuff, but that's just my sort of observation of it. Um, I think it's, you know, again, really important to commit to um, a sort of a style that you like and, and spend some time really thinking about that because, you know, in, in my experience, there's things I like doing and there's things I don't like doing and there's, there's ways my brain sort of tends to function. And I really found that hasn't changed, you know, it hasn't changed in, in, in 20 years of me doing this, right, or 25 years of me, like, aspiring to do this, you know, being like a kid in high school and drawing and being like, oh, maybe one day I'd like to draw comics. Um, 
the things I really like haven't changed that much, right? And and the way my patience level really hasn't changed that much. So I think it's really useful again to commit to a style um, that is again something really that you're interested in, and and try and find a way to kind of make that work from a career standpoint, sort of afterwards, right? Um, you know, or at least have that as something in your mind, right? Again, like you know, I, I can do all these sort of different things. You know, I can you know paint. Um, you know, stuff and make it look a particular style. And I, I, I can kind of match styles and do all this kind of stuff. But again, that's not really the stuff that people know me for, or, or I think care about as much. Um, and, um, you know, so I think that's a huge, huge um, part of it. So I, I think the other thing that obviously is, is a huge um, sort of thing is, is again, what you'd hear from most people, right, which is just, I didn't commit to foundation um, sort of early on enough. And this is a real sort of trap for people who are um, sort of self-taught, right? Is I would sort of be getting good results, right? And I'd be progressing a little bit. Um, but again, I was kind of hitting these imaginary brick walls and, you know, the, these sort of glass ceilings and all these kind of weird things where I'd be like, I don't really understand what's going on. And I really think most of that was just foundation, right? Not really committing to a proper sort of foundational study. Um, it is quite challenging, though, if you're teaching yourself to kind of motivate yourself to do that sort of, uh, you know, hardcore perspective and your sort of basic sort of rendering exercises and all those things that people sort of talk about when they say makes up foundation. But I certainly, um, you know, didn't commit to that early enough. And it was really only through luck of me actually, you know, wanting to draw comics and then sort of being forced through that, that I kind of got like a, you know, a, you know, like a street version of a foundation because it was just like, you have to draw these things and you just get so much practice doing it. Um, I, you know, so I'd recommend either commit to foundation or, or just draw a bunch of comics, right? Um, I think that's a really good way to, again, sort of make this go faster. Um, but again, make sure you focus on what's important, right? I, I don't think you can smash out foundation and, and work, you know, all day, every day at foundation and then be like, okay, you know, dust yourself off and then just carry on your merry way. You know, I think it's more like, you know, we sort of commit to foundation again, as part of our long-term journey, as part of our journey towards mastery, that's going to take, you know, um, multiple, multiple decades of, of sort of hard work. And we just keep getting better and better and better at it. Right. I think it's better to make it sort of, you know, like a daily little practice, right? As opposed to sort of, you know, again, trying to sort of spend your whole life um, for a couple of years, you know, just, uh, you know, just doing perspective and rendering stuff. Um, and thirdly, again, I, I feel like uh, I really sort of, uh, I fell for a lot of the, the stories that I think, um, uh, you know, people were sort of telling about sort of deifying our sort of art gods, right? We often sort of call our art gods art gods. And, um, you know, I feel like a lot of the books I read very early on, um, you know, um, sort of had this image of the artist that they were representing, right? Because there wasn't that many people that had books and all these people were kind of, you know, quote unquote famous. But, you know, part of that process is really sort of not sort of saying, hey, you know, th this person worked really hard. You know, they people tended to have this sort of attitude of like art as a talent thing. And I did still have this kind of feeling that like, you know, Surely just me working on my foundation is not going to help that much. You know what I mean? There, there's like, you know, there's there's things that are really personal about you and, you know, you're kind of just like built a particular way. And what I found is that, you know, like honestly, um, you know, this just takes time. Everyone's mortal. And if you actually sort of talk to people, that's sort of the, the really the, the, the consistent narrative story that you get. Um, but I think there's a lot of sort of, again, like really looking up and deifying, you know, artists that are amazing. Um you know, and, and I feel like that's just not helpful, right? Uh, it's really important to understand that, um, you know, this just takes time. Um, I, I think it's, it takes everyone time to, to get sort of good and, and hopefully you could do it a little bit quicker than me. Um, uh, but again, you know, that there's nothing wrong with doing it, you know, in any particular way. You know, I learned a lot of weird sort of things um, and how to do different stuff that kind of helps me now. But um, yeah, you know, that's just a little bit about my journey and, and the things that I've sort of um, learn. Um, hopefully you can, again, just get a bit, a bit of a better idea about, you know, where I'm coming from. And, uh, hopefully some of those tips can help you out and, and again, frame some, some, some good thoughts and positive thoughts about how this sort of journey 
might go for you. But again, uh, you can do it. It's it's uh, it's it's easy. It's just a lot of work, right? <laughs> Um, anyway, so in the next few videos, I'm going to jump uh, directly into talking about those uh, sort of four issues or, or questions that I um, sort of brought up initially. And yeah, we'll just basically sort of tackle them one by one and um, look at kind of how we can improve or, or solve those issues. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and hanging out.